Hello everybody and welcome to Chrono Plays in the Real World. Today I'm going to be looking at a somewhat older piece of technology, the Google Glass. I say somewhat older as it's a couple months old instead of just a couple of days or a couple of weeks like the other stuff I look at. My dad picked this up shortly after they started actually selling it to the general public and he has basically had it sit there doing absolutely nothing for the longest time. Now, he took it to lens crafters to get lenses for the thing, and he's waiting for them to get him the lenses since their lens-making machine was broken at the time, and now it's going to take them several weeks for him to get them. Yeah, I'm not going there. But I asked him if I could play with it for a little while, see what it can do. He did ask me to figure out what it can do. And since... I've only been playing this for playing with this for about, I don't know, a couple hours so far. I can't say for a hundred percent sure, but so far, I'm actually kind of impressed. Um, with my experience with the G Watch, I think I figured out how what this thing does and how it works fairly quickly. So it's not too terribly hard. I think I do have a pretty decent grasp of what it can do and how good it is in general. But first, let's take a look at what we have in front of us. Uh, I do not have the box. This is what I was given when I asked to borrow it. So this is what we can go over. We have the Google Glass itself with what appears to be a little tiny A to baby screw to take off the actual glass part. And you know, to put on different frames. Like, these frames are just the lens-free frames. Obviously, there's no lenses in there. These are for people with actual normal vision. There are other frames that you can have, that you have for it that are for lenses. is for people who actually need to see. And you can take off the glass part. This piece here detaches from the frame itself, and this whole arm piece comes off to attach to the other frame. It's actually pretty cool. I kind of like that idea. I don't like the idea that you can't just attach it to regular glasses, but apparently they're working on it. News to me. It came in this uh, hard-ish case. Now, it's not that sturdy, not that strong. I could fairly easily crush it with just my hands, but it would provide a little bit of protection, and that's actually pretty cool. Uh, inside of it we have a standard, oddly, micro USB cable with one of the USB chargers. That's actually kind of cool. I like that idea that it's just literally it's just a standard micro USB cable. It's nothing. Nothing special whatsoever. Unlike my watch, which is still kind of annoying me. And this thing here, I thought this was actually pretty cool. It's just a little screwdriver for the screw on the glass. I thought that was actually pretty cool that Google would include that. Uh, let's just push that right back in there so it stays put so we know where it is. And we will ignore that. Let's take a quick look at the actual hardware itself. So we have the frame itself, and it's just a fairly basic, I don't know, like headband type thing. It obviously goes around your face. We have the uh, supports, the nose supports. These are adjustable, so you can, you know, they're designed to be flexed a little bit in one direction or the other to adjust them to your face, which is also kind of cool. Google was thinking when they designed this. Uh, the glass device itself is made up of a couple different components. We have this interesting little design here. It's this clear, like, glass plastic crystalline type thing I don't know exactly what it's made out of but the screen itself is actually in the arm and it uses the bend right here in the glass to refract the light into your eye now this is also like the oculus rift where it's kind of a lensing effect so when you look at it it's not like you're looking at it a quarter of an inch from your face, it's like you're looking at it from a distance. They keep describing it as like a 25-inch TV from 8 feet away. 
Now the screen is pretty impressive. It's, what was that, 640 by 380 pixels or something like that? Something slightly like that. So we're talking half of 720p, basically. Somewhere around there. And that's, for the size, that's actually kind of impressive. I mean, it keeps claiming that it's an HD screen. Obviously, 320 pixels or 340 or 360 or whatever it actually is, is not HD in any sense. But considering how small the screen is, if we're actually taking DPI into account, dots per inch, then yeah, that's like a retina screen kind of ish. That's a lot of dots for a screen that's less than half an inch wide. So this is actually, I really do kind of like this because you can see through the screen but when you turn on the screen, you can see it fairly clearly. It works surprisingly well. I am actually kind of impressed with it. Uh, this is the base arm with most of the components built in. This chunk right here is actually touch sensitive. So it's aware when you tap it or swipe it, you can swipe forward, swipe backwards. Let's flip this over facing upright. We can swipe down, which dismisses things. I have no idea if you can swipe up. It's never come up with me playing with it. I can imagine you can swipe up, but it doesn't... I haven't found a use for it yet. Kind of interesting. Uh, we have a button on top which uh, actually starts recording video. Now, they describe this as the take a picture button, but it's not. Maybe it's a setting deeper in there that I haven't found yet, but... When I push the button, it started recording video, and by default, it records for 12 seconds, and then it stops, unless you push the button again in a set amount of time, and then it keeps recording. Now, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, inside of it has 12 gig storage, which is a lot. It's actually got 16 gig uh, internal storage, but I would imagine that 4 gig are used up for whatever the actual operating system on this is. I think it's Android. It seems to be an Android derivative, at least. Um, on the front here, that little black spot that you see right there is actually the camera. It's a 5 megapixel camera, and it will record at 720p. And that's actually pretty good. Um, I played with it a little bit. The camera is okay. It's not that great. And I keep swiping, well, up technically down, to turn off the screen because I don't need the screen on at the moment. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, we have the micro USB charger, which I'm very glad that they put in. I'm really glad that they put in a standardized connection. That way, if you lose the cable that came with it, oh well, you can just get another one. Pull another one out of the drawer you have because everybody has like a dozen or so of them. We have a power button right here which, as far as I can tell, is just a power button. It doesn't do anything else. Okay. Uh, the back piece, from what I can tell, involves a speaker, which is actually this right here that says glass. That's not a button. It looks like a button, and it clicks like a button, but it's not a button. It's, it's one of them bone conductive speakers. So this pushes up against the, the bones in your skull, and vibrates into your head, so in theory, only you hear the audio. That is not true. I can hear the audio fairly well, even just from here. I'm about two feet away from the glass, and I can hear it just fine. Um, but it's supposed to work like Jawbone, where it uses bone conductivity to hear things, so you can hear things and all that fun crap. Um, though I think the Jawbone works in the other way. It uses bone conductivity to pick up with the mic hmm. but I think the rest of this the rest of this back piece is actually a battery now I'm going to point this out real quick this thing is not that much smaller than my watch okay and it's just the battery part that I'm looking at right here this piece right here it's not that much smaller than my watch but it lasts I think I heard that it lasts with regular usage for like three hours which kind of sucks I guess if you didn't use it all that much, if you just used it for uh, just every once in a while, you glance up and look at the time, because that's its default screen is the time, then, okay, 
you know, it might work. Uh, if you look at a text message once, that might work. But if you're using it for phone calls, if you're using it to record video, if you're using it to its potential, it's not going to last anywhere near a day, which is mildly disappointing. All right, so what I have set up, I have set up the screen on this thing streaming to my phone, which is streaming to my computer, which is recording the video of it. So we should be able to tap on this. Come on, tap. Tap. Oh, I think it might be tapped. I'm just not seeing it. All right, so... Um, we should be able to see the screen itself. Woo! All right, go away. No, go away. Come on. Swipe down, swipe down. All right. So this is the screen that it starts in, which is basically the time. And it's speech, re speech sensitive, so I can say, okay, glass. And it actually does stuff. And it's trying to do stuff, but it has no idea what I'm saying, so it doesn't know. Um, just kind of interesting. Go away with that. I actually did play with this. It's not a bad thing. Um, it does kind of work. If I go... Ooh, that was just a tap. Wait, no, go away. Go away! I don't want to pull that up yet. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, it does kind of work. It's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, we have the videos and the pictures that I previously recorded. That one that you see is of my desktop. I don't know how I took it. It just kind of took itself. I was adjusting on my face. I wasn't touching any of the buttons. I wasn't touching the swipe area, the touch sensitive area. And it just kind of took a picture. Don't know why. Though it's got that wink thing activated, which I... Oh, it did it. Okay, yeah. All you have to do is wink, and it takes a picture, which is kind of cool. Oop. All right. Uh, then we have our history. So this is me playing with what it can do, uh, me playing with navigation, which is actually kind of cool. I'd show you the navigation because I think the navigation on this works better than on my watch, but I don't want to show my current location. So I'm not going to be playing with navigation. All right, that's my music that I'm playing with. Uh, this works better than my watch as well when it comes to music because I can actually pick, you know, flip through the library and the playlists and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Um, I, I have YouTube on here. I have no idea how to actually make it work at all. Uh, Google Play Music, Google Now, standard stuff. This is just the stuff that I've been playing with for a little while. You know, and it's actually pretty cool. Uh, we have the stuff that I'm supposed to do. So the setup head detection, you know, on head detection. This lets you know that it's actually on your head. Um, that's something that I forgot to point out when I was looking at the hardware. Is It's got a Wi-Fi card built into it. It's, an, it's a BG Wi-Fi card or Wi-Fi adapter. And it will connect to your network. So I can just tell it to connect to my Wi-Fi, and it doesn't have to be attached to my phone to do cool stuff. That's actually pretty sweet. Um, and then we got 14 photo spots nearby, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Because if I click on this and we load it, uh, that one might be nearby. That one probably isn't nearby. The water's too blue for Pittsburgh. This one, you know, I live in Pittsburgh. I have never seen anything that looks like this, okay? And it's telling me it's a 15-minute walk away. I'm not kidding. I don't even know where that is. I can't even pronounce that word, but it thinks it's a 15-minute walk away. Um, lake pick. As far as I know, there's no lakes in Pittsburgh. Maybe a small one. No, go away. I can get directions to it. I did try just for shits and giggles. It doesn't work. Uh, I don't know that one at all. Um, Centro di Montevideo. Des yeah, I have no idea what that's even trying to say. But I get the funny feeling that's nowhere near Pittsburgh either. So I don't know what it's talking about with these, pic these picture 
opportunities 15 minute walk away because it's totally totally not so let's, let's get rid of that for right now Nope. and then we have our settings and we can see the battery is at 56 percent now i've been playing with with, with this for an hour after I charged it, and it's down to 56%. Now, I admit I am using it very heavily, but still, the battery life in this thing is absolutely terrible. Um, but we can actually get into the settings. We can get into Wi-Fi settings, which I'm not going to mess with. Oh, no, go away. Ooh, can I disable Wi-Fi? That would be kind of cool. No, I cannot disable Wi-Fi. All right, go away. Uh, we got the information itself. Whoa, come on, go back, go back. There we go. Device info, it tells you how much storage space is free, the device version. Um, one thing I actually think is really cool. Zoop, loop, that one, the debug mode. All right, now I was fiddling with, I was fiddling with this online, trying to figure out if there was a way to get this to show up on the computer screen. And supposedly I can get this thing connected directly to my computer to record with. But it didn't work for me. Um, this The way I have set up now is a little convoluted, but it worked. So, uh, and then a factory reset. We oh, come on, let's go back. Okay, auto backup. You know, that's actually kind of cool. It will back up all my stuff to Google Plus automatically. I guess so in case you don't lose stuff, which is kind of cool. I do not want to enable it because, well, I don't work that way. I'm kind of not that... Uh, head wake up is on. Basically, if I tilt my head up by 30 degrees, it will turn itself on. So if it's asleep, it will turn itself on after I've tilt my head up for 30, 30 degrees. Whoa. Bloop. Head nudge. I have no idea what that is. Turns the screen off. So if I do this... It does nothing. I don't know. <laughs> on head detection. Now, this one is, it will detect if it's on my head, and if it's not on my head, it will turn itself off. But it says, may not work with frames, shades, or shields. Now, obviously, I don't have, uh, like lenses in the Google Glass, but I am wearing my glasses because I can't see this thing without my glasses. If I take off my glasses, even though it's a quarter of an inch from my face, I can't see it at all. So I have this disabled for that reason. Screen lock, which is kind of a cool concept. Let's see, let's set this thing up. Tap. Wait, it might be processing. To lock the device, you can tap one or two fingers. Wait, what? Swipe backwards or forwards. You can also swipe with two fingers. Oh, wow, this is multi-touch? Or swipe forward and backwards in one motion. Okay, I need to do what now? To lock the device, use four touch gestures. You can tap with one or two fingers. I love the tutorial in here. All right, moving on. Can I turn the screen lock on? Tap or swipe to enter your new pattern. Oh. Huh, well, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Uh, let's see, I was in settings. Settings, settings. Wi-Fi. No, 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 no. Poop. All right. Set up. All right, tap or swipe to enter your new pattern. So tap, swipe, swipe up. Nope. Whoop. Okay, so how about... Whoop, whoop. Oh, that's actually pretty awesome. So tap, swipe back. No. Swipe down to go back. Swipe. Nope. <sighs> Swipe back, no. Swipe forward, swipe back. Ah. Pfft. Okay, so you get the point. Let's just go away. All right. Oh. Pfft. 
This thing is slow, okay? I don't know what processor's in this thing. I didn't see it on it in the hardware or anything, but it is kind of slow. Uh, notification at a glance. I don't know. Oh, I see what this, I know what this is. Look at the circle. All right, I looked at the circle. I am looking at the circle. Look straight ahead away from the screen. Okay, I am doing that. Look back at the circle. Hooray! <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. All right, basically what it is is I can look up at the screen. I could be looking forward and I hear a notification. I can look up at the screen and it will pop up that notification. That's actually pretty cool. Wink for picture. That was me. I played with that later or before. And then volume control for the internal speaker. I have that cranked up because it is really quiet. Even though it's like right beside my ear, it's really, really quiet. All right. Anyways, let's actually take a look at what this thing can do. Um, so if I tap here, I can actually access all the stuff that I have enabled for this thing. And this thing right here, the Explore Stars. I think that this is an example of an amazing thing that the Google Glass can do. And if I tap and I wait a moment because this thing is a little slow. Do, 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 do. Wait, no, I can't do the Jeopardy theme. I'll get sued. <laughs> I don't know. But check it. It is detecting the position of my head. And I can look at the stars outside. And then I can get information on it. Um, like that one's called teal. Um, boop, that one's called Psy Draconis, which is pretty cool. But one thing that's actually kind of cool, you'll see the speech bubble in the upper right corner. Every now and then, there are some stars with actual like information to them. And if you just look at them long enough, once you find one that actually has information on it, it will uh, say the information in your ear, which is kind of cool. A little distracting, like that right there, the Vega. So, apparently Vega is the fifth brightest star in the sky. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Now, I'm going to point out that this is a little bit jumpy, what you're seeing, because it's bouncing off my phone and then into my computer. So, it's not going to work. It's not going to look all that well. It looks a lot smoother on my screen, even though it is still fairly jumpy. But I think that's because I'm also streaming the video. Come on, go away. Go away. Oh, you can swipe down to shut it up, and then you swipe down again to close it. Wait, what did that say? Glass must be cool something or other? Glass must be... Glass must cool down to run smoothly. Okay, that's a thing that I noticed. Ugh. Yep. All right. <laughs> Back to the real video. That is a thing that I've noticed. Okay, so all of this stuff is built into this little chunk right here. Yeah, okay, the battery's back here, but most of the hardware is built into this chunk right here. And uh, this thing gets hot. And if anybody knows anything about hardware and processors and stuff like that, processors don't work very well when they're overheating. So it, it, it was complaining that it was overheating because I was actually playing with it. But, you know, I am streaming the video to my phone and I am playing with something that involves the accelerometer and the compass and the GPS and all that fun stuff. GPS is probably actually on my phone. But, you know, it, honestly, I think this is a good little toy. Toy. Um, it works. You know, I feel better about it now than I did about my watch. Even though now that I've been playing with my watch a lot... I do like my watch significantly better than I did when I made the video. Still don't think it's worth it, but, you know, whatever. Now, let's look at the elephant in the room with this thing. This little tiny thing that weighs more than my watch, but less than my phone, cost $1,500. All 
Okay, fifteen hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. Okay, that is an ass load of money. That is a ridiculous amount of money, honestly. Okay, and not only that, but if you have glasses, you can't use this thing. You have to get the ones with the lenses. So you have to get lenses in it. Then you have to actually get the lenses made for it because you can't just connect this thing to your regular glasses. You have to, you know, put the, or you have to use their lenses and, or their frames and put your lenses in it. So that's extra money right there. And, you know, it's just annoying in general. And then, of course, there is the social prices involved in this. Anybody remember the phrase glass hole? Okay. Now, I don't understand really why everybody's so freaked out about this damn thing. I mean, it's nothing. It's it's kind of, you know, it's old technology, really. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people are worried about the camera. It's like, ooh, they could be recording me at any moment in time. This is $1,500, okay? I can buy a device that is $75 on Amazon right now that is like five-year-old technology that has this camera built into it, okay? Bluetooth headset can be used for phone calls, can record on my cell phone, just can be used for a ca- with a camera. So pretty much anybody with a Bluetooth headset could be recording you and you wouldn't know about it. So why people freak out about the Google Glass? Fuck if I know. Yeesh. And I mean, I actually did look this up. Like after the whole glass hole thing started, I looked it up. You can, you know all that spy stuff you see on TV, the pen cameras and little surreptitious cameras, the little button cameras and all that fun stuff? That shit's cheap. I'm not kidding when I say that. That shit is not expensive. Nowhere near the price of this thing. I can buy a Bluetooth pen camera online right now and still save enough money to buy a freaking phone. (laughs) Basically, I could buy a phone and a pen camera, and guess what? You wouldn't know. So I don't know why people are so freaked out about this thing. It's kind of (laughs) stupid. Actually, let me rephrase that. It's really stupid to be worried about this thing because... Seriously, you can do it now with no problem, with way the hell less money, and nobody does it because it's not really worth anything. So why would people be worried about it now? I don't know. I don't get it. I very rarely get it. But yeah, so is this thing worth the price? The price of the device itself, the price of lenses if you have glasses, if you're one of the many, 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 many people that need corrective lenses worth the social pressure that you're going to get? No. Oh, fuck no. That That's a raging hell's no. It is not worth that price. It's a cool little toy. I'm quite impressed with it. I'm just glad I didn't buy one myself. Now, my dad's going to have fun with this. He's going to integrate it with the Android device we're putting in our new travel van don't know exactly what he plans on doing with it but if anybody can actually program something cool with this thing it's him so he's going to get far more use out of this thing than i ever would so it might actually be worthwhile to him if you're a developer if you're somebody who has a really good idea for one of these things and wants to develop for it it might be worth the money but uh, for an average everyday user nah nah totally not worth it Now, I do have to admit that this thing does a hell of a lot more than my watch, but it's still not enough. So, I'm going to end on that note. Don't bother. Really, really don't, don't bother. This is bleeding edge technology designed for those people that love running on the bleeding edge, like me. It is not designed for the average user. Don't, don't. Get one if you don't directly right now see a use for it. Really. So, yeah. See you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.
For an added bonus, this is the video quality of the Google Glass. And now that I actually have a camera that's on my head, I get to show off, finally, the freaking wicked awesome Darth Vader poster that my mom got for me from that sci-fi convention down in Altoona, which actually was cooler than it sounds, honestly. Um, so, yeah. Wanted to show it off. Figured this would be a good use of the camera and display. One thing I don't like is that this can the the Google Glass sits too low on my face. I'm looking directly at the picture right now, and as you can see, the camera is pointing well almost at my monitor, and that's centered. So right now, I'm looking at the very top of the picture. So, yeah, it's kind of cool that they have the camera actually pointed slightly downwards, so it's recording what you're looking at but it doesn't sit right on my face. And yeah, I can't fix it because of optics. Joy.